Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. Uh, this is Gift for Zekana. As you know that on this channel, we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, right? So, guys, today I want us to talk about becoming a mechanical engineer in South Africa, right? So, uh, mechanical engineer, there are a lot of engineering disciplines, right? We are going to cover them also on this series of videos because I have decided to do some research for those who want to know more whether is it a good choice to study a particular course, right? So I'm going to select just few courses which I know have opportunities and come and share with you here. We're going to touch on the opportunities, the requirements from specific universities, and you're right, just only those aspects and how to do more research on what you want to study, right? So basically, a mechanical engineering in South Africa uh, it's offered in different institutions guys there is universities University of Technologies where they offer national diploma they offer BH Tech then we have also universities that offer uh, it in BSc Eng and B Eng right so I'm going to focus on the universities that offer it as BNG or BSc Eng, where you can register as a professional engineer after. So in these four universities, we are going to talk about Vets University. We're going to talk about University of Cape Town. And we're also going to talk about University of Johannesburg and University of Pretoria. Right. So... Let's start with the requirements. Adverts on their website, guys, all this information, you can find it on the, the specific university website. Just read throughout, engage, right? And understand also what to expect from the course that you want to study at university. It's very important that why am I doing this is because I want to make a research with you so that you can be sure that at least I have something that I will come out with that I'm sure that is going to make me live comfortable or that it's something that you are sure would you know your future is a secured thing, right? Adverts, they say you need an APS score of 42 plus, right? So level 5 in English, level 5 in Maths, level 5 in Physical Sciences. Guys, there are a lot of competition nowadays. Especially you, the grade 12s of South Africa. You are excelling, doing exceptionally well, right? So every time I see a grade 12 excited that their paper was easy, I was like, hey. Because what does an easy paper mean? It means now the competition is going to be tight. So when they say level five, it means that's the minimum requirement. But it does not guarantee you that when you've got level five in maths, physics, English, whether it's first additional language or, or home language, you're going to get a space. If you have level six, at least you have a chance. And if you have level seven, you do have a chance. I believe so. Then at the University of Cape Town, they say you must have level seven in maths too. So at the University of Cape Town, in their prospect class, they have this thing of a guaranteed admission and a probably a, 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 a probably admission and yeah, and the requirements. So basically what they mean there, you have to write an NBT. I think you need to write an AQL, Maths, and I don't know what is the English or what. So you write an NBT there, they look at the scores there. Then if they miss the score and you're above 100, 500, then you get an, uh, it's, a, it's a guaranteed admission. So you need to visit the University of Cape Town prospectors. So I heard that they want level 7 in maths, level 6 in 
a physical science that's 75 percent and above then we go to the requirements at university of johannesburg i think university of johannesburg there is two there is bng tech and there is bs eng bsc eng we're gonna come other day and explain the difference but there is a difference right because with bsc eng you can register as a professional engineer with a bng tech you can register as a professional technologist but you need to also do that information visit the engineering council of south africa website where they will explain to you what does each engineering discipline means there is a national diploma there is a bng tech there is a, a bsc eng b eng and all of this stuff right so we're gonna focus on the b eng side at the university of johannesburg uh, the english they want level five mathematics level five physics health science level five but i repeat don't settle for level five you have already written some of you others going still gonna write for grade 12 but make sure you work extremely hard so that you don't fall within the competition then the requirements at university of pretoria level five in english it's the same thing level six in maths physical science level six then uh yes then level seven is a bonus for you but you you don't have to meet the requirements go up the requirements so that the competition doesn't affect you and also at the university of pretoria there is an engage program which you is like an extended program of engineering as you know that this engineering it takes four years so with an engage program it takes five years there is an additional year right so it's take five years so guys there's nothing wrong also i don't know how they accept you in this program you just need to contact the university and ask them but there's nothing wrong with the uh, extended it just shows because some people do extend their courses intentionally right so it's not an, an, an always a guaranteed thing that you're gonna finish in record time as long as much as it is recommended but it's tough in varsity sometimes it might happen that some one module has destroyed you but don't lose hope now we're going to go to the last part now what are the career opportunities right guys please grade 12s even those who want to change to mechanical engineering normalize using linkedin which is you you i'm not promoting linkedin but i want you to go to linkedin and search mechanical engineer you will see different mechanical engineers across the country click on their profiles there you view their work as well there's also jobs right that comes that tells you what they are hiring so that you can familiarize yourself what the jobs need and all of the stuff on linkedin so they say you can uh, work as a in the um, automotive industry we have your bmw toyota and so you can work as an energy engineer right you can work as a mechanical design a developmental engineer you can work as a manufacturing engineer systems engineer you can work as a production engineer you can work as a technical man marketing manager you can work in transport engineering you can work in construction you can work in mining are you listening so it means there is a lot of opportunities when it comes with to mechanical engineering right so it's the best decision also you ever do so i wish you all the best for those who are waiting from universities the responses and make sure it's the right decision and it's what you want and go where you know that there's opportunities and make sure that it is going to be the best decision of your life don't forget to subscribe and like and share and comment anything you want to comment Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.